You know, I learned a long time ago that one of the most important accessories you can have on your boat is an electric trolling motor. Now this particular boat is 18 and a half feet long, powered by a 200 horsepower motor, and the electric that we have delivers 80 pound thrust. Now to do that efficiently, you need to power it with two 12 volt deep cycle batteries that are the right size to deliver that power for an extended period of time. Now let me show you where I'm storing the batteries. In this particular boat, we have the batteries for the electric trolling motor right close to the bow of the boat. Now this is very important because the closer you have the batteries, the less likely you are to lose power of the electricity traveling up a long cable to get to where the power is required. If I lift up the rod storage, you can see that there's another compartment down below. If I lift up that lid, there are the two deep cycle batteries. Now it's important to have those batteries in battery boxes and low so they won't jump around, especially in rough water. But having the batteries up front like this and close to where the power source is, is very important. Now let me explain to you why it's important to use the right size battery. What I've got here is a deep cycle battery. This particular one is 85 ampere hours. Now deep cycle battery is built a little bit different than a cranking battery because the lead plates inside are solid. And these batteries are designed to retain the charge over a long period of time for a constant draw. This term ampere hour is really important because it's a term used for how long the charge will last or how much of a charge over a 20 hour period. So if you have a very large electric trolling motor that requires a large draw and a lot of pound thrust that it delivers, you need to have a larger ampere hour battery. In this case, this would be fine if you're using it single on a 12 volt electric or if you have a smaller 24 volt electric where you use two together. Oh, no, he's there. Come on. Look at that. Come oh, on. Wait. Eat it. Oh. Oh, he's got it. Yes. All right. Another shadfish, eh? Coming right in. Return for that. What? Didn't know when to set the hook. Oh, good size, or? He's okay. He's not small. I'm going to walk to the back. Okay. So it's easier for you guys to net him. Come on. I, I uh, try to steer him out of there real fast. Yeah, yeah. that's, you gotta. I mean, this is awesome. Puts it a is. lot of fun, it eh? It's it a is. blast. Yeah. I mean, see, this is one thing they don't do out west. I don't think anybody uses a slip flow because the current's so fast. Yeah. But in the Red River, they've got to use just the rig right on the bottom. I think this is awesome, just to be able to watch it like that. We've got perfect conditions today. Not much flow in the no. tributaries, perfect weather. The weather's nice. It's about 75, 80 degrees. Yep. This looks like a short, heavy fish, but he's not small. Strong, eh? Yeah. Really hard to bring up off the bottom. Thick. So this is a female? It looks like so another female, yeah. Not ready yeah. yet. Very thick. And that hook is just on the side I saw it, which is good. We are using really good quality hooks. We haven't talked about our hooks. Are, your, are yours three odd? Yes, they are. Okay. Yeah, three odd I, have, and four I couldn't odd. remember from last year, so I got three odd hooks. Perfect size. And they are razor sharp. That's what you need. Catfish have Look where really, he's hooked. Yeah, really nice mouths to hook them because they've got so much tissue. Right. And if you wouldn't mind just handing me the glove. There's one sure. right there on the floor. Perfect. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's a beauty. I'm going to hold it up so they can see the hook. So the reason we're using these sharp hooks is because, like, the last thing that's going in these fish's mouths is the hook because they're really swallowing the bait. I'm just going to hand you the yep. rod. It's like doing an operation here. <laughs> Forceps. Come on. Scalpel. Yeah, in just one sec. Come on. Open. Open. I had dogs, eh? Golden retrieve. Open. <laughs> let go of the ball. Let go of the ball. <laughs> okay. Why don't you just relax? Look, look. I'm trying to get him to relax. Off. Come on. Come on. Let, you just slowly sliding and oh, nice. Now don't. Whatever you do. Then he's gonna bite. Don't. Oh, he's on there. Look, I'm not even. <laughs> you can see that hook. This is what I was explaining to you. Most of the fish we've hooked has been just in the side of the mouth. Yeah, I'm amazed at the torque that they've got. Torque weight oh, yeah. on the thumb. Oh yeah. Thirty pounder twisting, not a good idea no, on, on your thumb. Not at all. Hey, you might get a wrist injury on that one. Thick, eh? <laughs> Do you think this is a little female? Yeah. Little. Nice I mean, we're, we're you know, is that spots. a five, six pounder or heavier? Like it's hard. <laughs> maybe, to, maybe seven, six, seven. Yeah. Look at the spots, eh? They're beautiful. Nice yeah, it's almost like trout. We haven't caught any really silver ones because a lot of times when they get smaller fish like in the Grand River, like when I say smaller, under three pounds, yeah. they're real, real silver. They're almost white. 
But then the Grand is really murky, a lot murkier than this water. It is, yeah. It's a nice fish. I think they're such gorgeous creatures. It's been feeding well. Beautiful. She liked that shed. Okay, you can let go now. Oh, good. Tried to take the glove with her. <laughs> now, I got to mention the glove, you know. 22 years of doing the show, and even before doing the show, I was using this glove. My mom used to knit for me wool gloves, because I don't know if you know the property of wool. Wool won't absorb water. So sheep, even though it's raining, and they do get wet, their hair doesn't absorb the water. So it's really oh, yeah. good, especially yeah. if you have a sweater, right? Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. it'll still keep you warm. So she was making the wool gloves because the, the wool won't absorb the slime either. But this glove is stainless steel and Kevlar. So it's really designed so that you don't cut yourself. It's a fillet glove. Yeah. But over the years, I found that because the mesh, mesh is so wide and because it's made of such a hard material, it stretches when you grab a fish, especially by the caudal peduncle, mm -hmm. like a salmon or a pike. Mm -hmm. But with teeth like that, it's thick enough that even those little teeth just get cut, caught in the mesh. They won't go through to hurt you. I would never do that with a pike, honestly, because no, no. <laughs> it punctures right through the mesh. Right. But it's a great thing. Well, they are great for right. handling these fish. The most important tip I'll ever give you, <clears throat> the most important tip, after you've caught many fish with this, do not forget it in like your fishing bag or put it in your basement. That's funny you said that. Stink is a generous word. I just word. spent last night oh. washing ours out. And not or in your awful. vehicle, not no. a good thing. We soaked not ours last thing. night. So, so I actually hard. brought a Ziploc bag to put it in the Ziploc Smart. bag till I yeah. get it home. Yeah. And then I put it somewhere like in the garage with open air. You know, and sometimes I'll rinse them, but you don't really have to rinse them. Just let them dry. Yeah, but a little man, slime will hurt, man. Uh, from flying trips, I've forgotten gloves. Oh. You gotta like literally throw the bag away. Let's get right over. <laughs> so that was awesome. Nice job. Great. Okay. That's two fish on that same piece so of So the other there. nice thing about these cats is I guess they feed all day long. They don't know that they should quit sometimes, eh? Canadian Sport Fishing has been brought to you by Rapala Premium Fishing Gear, crafted from experience. Yamaha on the water. This is my Yamaha. What kind of Yamaha are you? Dickies, a legend in work since 1922. Lucky Strike. More fish fight with a lucky strike.